This is our second year presenting at Comic-Con. A friend of ours runs the H uh, P Lovecraft Film Festival up in Los Angeles, and he decided that uh, it would be a great opportunity to do science outreach at Comic-Con by actually focusing on some of the science in H.P. Uh, Lovecraft's works. So he, um, he invited Lisa to begin with, and then she invited me to join, and so this will be my second year as well. So it's been very interesting because a lot of other Comic-Cons do a science track, so this is the first time the San Diego Comic Con is getting to do some of the science idea, not just looking at comics, but looking at the science inside of comics. Uh, and it's you know it's just been great to be able to get out there and talk about the science and say, hey, you know, there's more to to more than just these comics. Besides just you know superheroes flying around, there's a real science behind them. Be able to talk about that science and get excited about it. So H.P. Lovecraft's works are still relevant today because he, although is thought of as traditionally as a horror writer. His stories usually started off science-based, sort of true science fictional starts and then with a supernatural finish. And so At the Mountains of Madness includes discussions of geology, uh, it's in the depths of Antarctica, which is still largely unexplored today, uh, the idea of uh, alien technology and cutting edge technology for the time. And when you, when you think about his, his story and you're talking about, uh, he talks about these protoplasms that these ancient technology, these ancient aliens had used to make their workers, basically, their slaves to, to do and build these great cities and stuff. He talks about manipulating their, their, their cells and their structure, and that's very much chemistry and biology based. If you think about what we're doing today with stem cells, manipulating those to make organs, not very much far off from what he was talking about in his science. So so he's got a lot of very relevant ideas from that time that relates to our time period and what we're doing today, which is very cutting edge in a lot of ways. Uh, so our fellow panelists uh, will be the head of the H.P. Lovecraft uh, Film Festival in Los Angeles, Aaron Vanek, uh, Cody Goodfellow, who is a science fiction, fantasy, and horror writer, and Les Klinger, who actually recently uh, edited the, the uh, best H.P. Lovecraft anthology. If you want to get the complete H.P. Lovecraft, you would pick uh, this book by Les Klinger. Uh, you may have heard of Les Klinger in another context, though he is the man who took the Arthur Conan Doyle estate all the way to the Supreme Court in order to be able to use the works of Sherlock Holmes in the public domain. So if you're going to Comic-Con for the first time, pace yourself, wear comfortable shoes, drink plenty of water. <laughs> uh, if you only got one day to do Comic-Con, um, spend it looking at the floor, looking at the convention floor. Um, a lot of the panels seem really interesting, but that might waste a lot of time waiting in line to get into the panel. But if you only got several days, you know, spend one day looking at the floor, uh, some time doing the panels. Uh, but yeah, comfortable shoes and clothes is important. Uh, it might be July, but the convention center is actually very cold. You will be surprised at how many people walk around in like pants and sweaters because it's actually very cold. So dress appropriately. And please, from us veterans of Comic-Con, don't stop in the middle of the floor to take pictures of people in their no, cosplay. No. Please don't. <laughs> yeah, and our panel is Friday afternoon. So if you're not in Hall H for Game of Thrones or Star Wars, you can come see us instead. <laughs>